Did you already save here. this guy before? That was in the next episode. Now we're back. Oh. Does he oh, give you anything for saving him, or is he just sort of marooned up there? What? What? I died again. His dialogue went for like a split second, then just stopped. Also, the bloom is so bad I can't even see his features. He's just a shadow man. He spawned me right next to where I died, though. Oh, what? cutscene. Excuse me? Yeah, notice that there are suddenly four of us in this cutscene, even though there are three of us so far, and Azalea's hasn't joined us yet. So he's... Oh, Sam B materialized from nowhere. Sam P using his tactical hand signals. It must be even stranger playing single player. Then isn't it like the three... Suddenly three survivors appear around you? Mm -hmm. Watch it. Yeah. Welcome to Suiciders. I'd like to keep in mind that um, this cutscene began when I was fighting a zombie. Because we definitely needed suiciders. Oh, it teleported me. Yeah, and I have a weapon stuck in that zombie that I killed. Here, I'll just, I can do this. Yeah, suiciders are the zombie you run into in almost every zombie series now. Where they just, they close distance, they explode, and then they're dead. I mean, obvious, but... For me? I wonder why they're so popular, given that, especially in this game, you fight them in melee. It just kind of makes them extremely annoying. I'll have a cleaver for you if I can find out where the hell I was before Ross inadvertently activated this cutscene. That I didn't know was there. Away from my weapon. That I didn't know was there. Man, it can't be as bad as Castlevania Lords of Shadow, where there is an area... I was just sort of walking around, looting items, doing my thing, and I, I ran into, like, there's three doors. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm scared. If I go into the wrong door, I'll miss all the loot. Oh, all yeah. of the game-changing, permanent, you can't go back and grab it loot. And I approach one of the doors thinking, maybe this one has the loot behind it. I don't even get a chance to open it, and it throws me into a cutscene. I fight a boss. At the end of the boss fight, I turn around like, I better be able to go back, and it's a locked door. I can't go back. Nikolai, please, I'm... I'm not ready for your quest. I can't handle it. Over here. Come here. Oh my god. Were we supposed to go by the bungalows? We were supposed to. And then Cinemoy's job just incidentally was here. And Nico, I won't, won't, just won't shut up. And I've now lost my cleaver. So uh, you don't get one. I had to use my spare for myself. I don't bite! This fortune that you came along. Games, if you're going to have someone repeat, like a come over here, come over here, come over here, give them some sort of timing. And don't My make them repeat Nicola. themselves. We we As get you it. Can see this piece of shit helicopter that was supposed to get me off this fucking island crashed. Figures it wasn't Russian. <laughs> we need to oh, because he wasn't obviously friends. Russian enough, Soon right? Soon this place will be swarming with those things. Before we crashed, I saw a bunker by the beach. Once inside, it would be a great place for us to hide. Very defensible. I, I wonder why. it's surrounded by those infected freaks. If you can get us to the bunker, I guarantee I will get you off this goddamn island. It's even called Black Hawk Down. Oh no, it's an escort quest. Uh, these because are... everyone just loves those, right? These are absolutely the worst part of the game. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, we haven't even started it yet, and you've already lost weapons. Oh yeah, escort quest is one of the it's best up. ways for you to lose weapons as well again. I use best, uh, you know. Don't worry, I got mad. Is it telling me to go back this way? It is, but it's wrong and dumb. Especially when he's running the opposite direction. 
wow, that's a really funny animation. It's not as bad as ours. Lest we forget. Hey, oh, look, infected. Yeah, it's, it's summon infected for us. This feels like a World of Warcraft quest. Go on with the goddamn chicken. Where it's like, cluck, cluck, spawning enemies, please fight them. And the enemies were like, way higher level than they should have been. Oh, Is man, he hurt? He was hurt. Low health. Well, thankfully, escort NPCs have very quickly regenerating health. Do they regenerate fully, or is it like us? Do. Well, he almost died so fast, I don't think it matters. This was mercifully short. They get longer. The one in the I city, know. oh my god. The one in the city, I'm not even going to use my weapons. I don't want to lose them. Okay, blood doesn't do that on a machete. It, it indented further into my machete than my machete had room to indent. Just it also doesn't really look like big. Blood. Yeah, it's not really blood. It's possible, my friends. Here's a little something for your trouble. Damaging homemade machete. It certainly does seem dependable. That's really good. Can't I got to better, look. but by so little, it's kind of impressive. Uh, what did you guys get? 388 plus 90 machete. Oh, I got a 380. Well, here. I don't need mine. Mm. Let's see over the workbench. Damaging. Machete. Okay, this is the place where suddenly you spawn next to a suicider and then have to deal also, with it. Also, there's a uh, lock pick. Come back. There's a lock pick up on the second oh, floor. Man. Am I going to have to throw my everything at him? Yep. Like, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this guy says we gotta go to the city and get this uh, this guy at his restaurant to give him his satellite phone, so we can use it to uh, like call for help, basically. That seems oddly specific. He's got one of his buddies has got it because his was uh, destroyed in the crash. You, you coming back there? Nata? Yeah, I'll be there in a moment. Oh, wait. I'm just telling you this because you're too far away to read the subtitles. I love how this game is toggle sprint, so I can't stop sprinting easily, even though my stamina is running out and I'm supposed to not run out of stamina. You know, so it's toggle crouch. What the heck? Okay, so the tunnels, they take you far away to a different bunker with a different exit. And I just ran all the way around and came back to where I was. <laughs> I love surprises. It's pretty bad. Sellable. Why is that just low enough to cause you fall damage? Come on. It's just inconvenient. They care enough about us to... Well, I guess it is laziness in both cases. What? I was going to say they care enough about our, our attention span to, like, put, you know, hold to E events rather than proper interaction with stuff. But then... Then... Back when it comes coming. to us taking damage from falling off stuff, they don't give a damn. But, as I said, you can easily explain both of those by just the developers were lazy. It's a thug. It's a thug. I'ma kill it. Lazy or rushed? Or not paid enough? I think they spent way more time on this area than on any of the others. Although the city seems like it also got a, quite a bit of attention. Detention. Uh, well, on that note, the prison was obviously the least developed. I'd almost say the jungle was. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. I almost feel like in making the game, they were like, they keep working on this jungle, man. Gotta make it stop. Gotta cut all the corners, get it over with. 
let me kill this one. Watch or, you know, just trigger it and run away. Yeah, they have a pretty generous trigger resistance. That can work against you, though, if you're coming around a corner and suddenly you, you see one. They also insta-kill you. Yeah, always. Thankfully, we haven't seen are. that yet. Uh, okay, it's time for this quest. We got our champagne ready. Everything is so fucked up. And these half-dead assholes, they're fucking annoying. That's her response. Unlike the other guy. I need more champagne. I fucking love champagne. Can you find some for me? You find How about me no? champagne, and I'll give you whatever I have. Whatever you uh, have. This is the most ridiculous quest. And she has diamonds too. She's running a diamond you racket with Cinnamoy. That's what this is. Okay, baby. We're going They're to smuggling fight. blood diamonds. Now find me some champagne. And not the cheap shit. Champagne time. Ooh, 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 champagne. You bring me ooh, champagne, champagne. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> Why? You Never gets old. Spit. Why? Look at this guy. He has to live with her. Bring me That's why he's shaken. It could also be the drugs that are in this place. Because I just I looted them too soon, so you didn't get to see, but there are drug units. Take the money and whatever else you want. It's no use to me anymore. Tell her I'm I thought you were saying like tell her I'm dead like Svetlana in the next room. She wouldn't even care. He's dead? Where do I get my champagne from? This immediately after we just the tone of the writing. What is that? What is the word for that? Narrow narrative dissonance? When a narrative is dissonant with itself? And keep in mind, I took the mass driver. Uh, like, what is it? Skill. Or talent, or whatever. Oh, super far. Yeah, so my throwing range has increased at least by double. Why would they call it Mass Driver? I don't know. I mean, you do kind of throw these things with ridiculous velocity. Yeah, but I mean, you could call it something like, it's all in the wrist or something like that. Or some sort of football reference, as apparently you're supposed to be like a famous football player. You could have called it like, go long. And by famous, I mean, like, he thinks he was, you know, good, but probably it was terrible. And the other thing is, they give you a car to get around quicker, but then they put you on the beach. Where a car yeah, is the, awkward at best. And the often, beach is pretty dense in enemy area anyway. And it often runs up against walls like this. I'm sure you could jam it through Fort Hog style, but... Is it really worth the time and effort? And once they introduce suiciders, they just appear everywhere. Yeah, they are everywhere. They're worse than the sewers, though. And that's cities, not really... the rooftops in the cities are the worst place for them. That's not really a bad thing, though, because suiciders drop suicider meat, which is a very valuable component for certain mods, like all the toxic ones. You know, I think I found a secret. I'm being directed up here by arrows. Oh, it's that secret day. What I is up here? Oh, I'll let you discover it on your own. What? I will let you discover it on your own. No, I mean, where am I supposed to go? Well, I... you're supposed to use this game's horrible jumping physics to navigate these rocks. Well, I am. I haven't found anything. Oh. Hold E. To do what? To put a skull near some skulls? That takes a... What do we got here? <laughs> okay. You got the you got craft? Teddy bear. I, I wasn't aware of the ability to do voodoo was part of this game. 
What? If it, if it's one of the developer secrets for us. It's still voodoo. I don't remember which one this is, though. The developer 666 mod? <laughs> yeah, I just I don't know what that means. So we'll find out when we get back. Funny enough, though, guess what it takes? Well, I guess what they all take. No, we can't get through there. It's impossible. Oh. Lovely. Yeah. It takes diamonds. All your Duke Voodoo is diamond based. What? Well, think about it, man. Voodoo, blood diamonds? I guess. Yeah, these diamonds are pretty bloody after being on our personage for less than a second. The, sh the blood champagne? That too. We're in deep in the champagne business. Cut off the champagne trade, you cut off Cinnamoy. I always find it so weird though. Why was it that they added bleed damage to blunt weapons and pretty much none for sharp? I don't know. And then Zane gets a whole bunch of sharp, a whole bunch of bleed upgrades. Yeah, but you have no way to cause bleeding, except, I guess, like, abilities? Her, she has passive extra bleed, bleed chance. Every little bit helps us hang on a little oh. longer. She can randomly start bleed. He's given us a like, shock mod. Time to, oh. time to demonstrate. That's what I'm talking about. Shock mods. I'm going to cause so much havoc. With one of these. That's just not a good thing. Oh, says you. Basically, um, Brett has an aversion to temporary buffs. Worth I have an here? absolute aversion to anything random chance based. I just see it as like a matter of statistics. I'm not a big fan of a random chance either, admittedly. But like, if it's crit chance, it's quite literally just this is extra damage, which you can't always count on, but over the course of your game, it's going to be, you know, you average take out. Take green blossoms and shove them up your ass. I hate green blossoms. It's now a shock machete. Fine. My. My wrath has been postponed until I can find a non-cleaver weapon. I like how suddenly these guys just have every quest for us. Oh, poor son of a bitch, I thought he'd make it. Guess I was wrong. But like, look at this bleeding chance thing Zane gets. Chance to inflict bleeding on critical hit with sharp we weapons. Do everything we can to make this truck a main badass okay. death deal. So not show. only... <laughs> they smell only... badass with two D's in the subtitles. Sure thing. Good. It's not only is it a chance to hit, us. but it's also only a chance to hit on a thing which is already yeah, only a will. chance to hit. Let's just pray the mechanics. And you can at maximum get thirty percent. Somebody else. So what's the base crit chance? I don't even know if there is one. But basically, now I get to drive this thing. To cause bleed on a character that keeps having all these upgrade bleed and poison damage. Bringing the truck to you, Grant. I've already mentioned before, but Logan is incredibly good for critical hits because he gets one that increases it you by up to 30 get for to throws. Drive this time, remember? I sure love how much I can see of the road. Uh huh. And the unbreakable glass. Well, that's always a plus. The other weird thing is, they don't follow us. Why don't they follow us? What, the zombies? No, Cinemoy is his group of, like, completely useless retards. Oh, so the slightly less uh, undead zombies. Yeah. I have no way of seeing that, because I can't approximate how big my truck is. That is the best way to kill uninfected in the game. Just drive a vehicle forwards. And they run right in. 
Oh god. For being a huge as fuck truck, the thing bounces around like yeah, it doesn't have any momentum, it doesn't have any weight behind it, but whoa, whoa, whoa. it's still equally huge. Oh, Thank man. You Should we just get out and deal with that bug? Well, it's telling me to go farther away than that. Uh -uh. You're going the wrong way. I'm going around. Oh, wow. Now the brakes don't work. I'm trying to figure out if this controls any differently from the truck, or if it's just the truck with, with bigger everything. I think it's just the truck, but bigger. Maybe slightly different acceleration values? Definitely doesn't break as fast. Okay, time for another main quest. Good, we're making progress instead of just. This time I am not going to hit out. those zombies. Leave the vehicle. It says. Yeah. These zombies um, can be pushed. Skip that. That's a revolver with a lot of bullets in it. When there's this many zombies, it's the ideal time to get mad. Oh god. Oh look, there was a propane tank right there this whole time. Get in. Ooh, meet Jin. Jin.